How's it going today everyone? David coming at you with Back Alley Builds here for another little quick install video for you guys. Now on this car, we have a car here, we have a 1965 Ford Galaxy here. And because this car is only typically used in the summers, it sits in the shop year round, but because winter's obviously in Canada, you can't drive these cars. So we have it just sitting in the garage for six months at a time basically. And because we're not using it, I like to put a battery disconnect kill switch basically on it. So that way when it's not being used and it's just sitting in here, then it's not, there's no drain on the battery. And uh, basically then I don't have to keep recharging the battery every time because you know, you open the door, lights turn on that kind of thing. So we just want to get, elim basically eliminate the battery potential off of this for right now. So what I'm going to show you guys is all you're going to need for this install is a 13 millimeter wrench. And you basically just need to pull the negative. Now I know there's a controversy between pulling the negative or the positive, which one do you switch? In these old cars, there's no computer. So from what I understand, doing the negative side is just fine. So that's what we're gonna do today. So basically what we're gonna use is this little disconnect and all this is, is tightens in to give you power. There's a little spacer between it. So when you tighten it in fully, it brings power to your negative, which therefore electrifies your system. And when you spin it off, you lo just loosen it off, lefty loosey, it separates and there therefore kills the power to the system. So that's what we're gonna be putting in today. So I'm gonna leave that right here for now. And all we're gonna do is take this 13 millimeter wrench, loosen off our negative. I had it kind of pre-loose before this, so it comes off pretty easily. So then what we're gonna do, so we'll just put that here for now. Now this thing separates into two pieces, but it's a pain to get, once you separate these two pieces, it's a pain to get this wheel back into here without having to really try hard for it. So instead of doing that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this negative here. We're just gonna slam it onto the side here, just like that. And all we're going to do is we're going to tighten this right up. So you could use a ratchet. I have my little wrench. So with a ratchet, it obviously take you less time, but it's a Sunday and I have all the time in the world right now. So, all right. So that's your negative. So do a quick little spin. It doesn't spin on there at all. So that's good. That's what we want to see. We want to make sure this is tight on this side. That way you don't have any loose connection or any of that bad stuff you don't want to have with electrical systems. So now we have that tightened on. Now we have this loose right now. So this should not get any power to the electrical system of this car right now. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put it on here, just like that, just like so. Take our 13 millimeter wrench, tighten this side up. You can hand spin it for now and then tighten it up. And then as once you're done this, the real test is just take, tightened up so now it's not gonna move at all. It's pretty well on there, so that's perfect. It's just what we want. And this is gonna turn because like I said, there's a little spacer in there. So when it's not fully connected, it's just gonna kinda, it might be give a little bit of a turn, but it's not gonna damage it at all. So that's in there as we speak. Now, quick little test. We obviously have loosened it off. So let's just go to the inside real quick here. And just see if there's any power. You look inside, there's power on right now. So. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly pull that, loosen that guy right off. Now we should have no power. I've just loosened it about three or four turns. So now if we walk back to the inside of this car, we still have power. So apparently, we might not, must not be loosened up enough. So let's check that again here. Sometimes they're a little bit, a little bit finicky. So if you look inside here now, there's no lights on, there's no power to anything. So therefore we've officially eliminated the battery from the system. And all we need to do to reconnect that battery is just right hand turn all the way, tighten it. Yep, yeah, just like that, it's tight now. And if we go back to this, we'll see the lights are on. Just like that. So that's all you need to basically do for a disconnect switch. Now this will work on majority of all years. I have the, the this same switch on our 65 Galaxy, that 64 Galaxy over there, this Mustang, our 1995 F-150 deck truck build, that's all on there. So they all have the same, same clamps and everything seems to work really well with them. So I would recommend them. And then especially if you have a vehicle sitting for so long, like for us because like I said we leave these for six months of the year they don't move so there's no point in them you know drawing the battery down recharging the battery continuously so we just do this to eliminate that potential and 
also eliminating any fire hazards. You have the car sitting for so long, you don't want something to spark up. So, but that's all for today. Uh, subscribe, like, follow us for more content, especially with old Ford vehicles. If you like seeing this kind of stuff, we definitely like to see your comments in the comment section. Keep us in the loop and uh, subscribe for more. Peace out.